Welcome back everyone to Vegas Hockey Now's National Hockey Now's YouTube channel. My name is Owen Krebs, beat writer for the Golden Knights for uh, Vegas Hockey Now. With the Golden Knights now on their four game road trip to Southeastern United States, we're going to be we're going to be upping the video content for the website and we're going to be putting out the post game, you know, review the post gamers that I do in video form. So today we're going to be going over eight takeaways from the Golden Knights 1 0 victory at Capital One Arena against the Washington Capitals. Michael Amadio, the only goal scorer for the Golden Knights, which kind of shows you just how tight and congested this game was. Robin Leonard, 34 saves for his first shutout of the season, a very big confidence boost for them. The Golden Knights also welcoming back Nicholas Haig and, and Laurent Bersouin into the lineup. Bersouin, of course, didn't play, backed up Leonard, but still good to get those guys back. Riley Smith out with COVID protocols. The Golden Knights play tomorrow night uh, against the Carolina Hurricanes, second of a back-to-back. Bersouin will likely get the start in that. Let's go over eight takeaways from the games in no particular order. These are takeaways. They can be anything that I've noticed, who played good, who played bad, strange things that happened in the game. And this is going to be a trend here on the channel, especially or not on the channel, on the website, whatever you want to call it, um, especially with the Golden Knights on the road trip. Um, I'm not on the road trip with them, so we can get to the video content right away. And let's let's get into it. We'll have eight observations today. And we'll start with the one that's, you know, kind of trending on Twitter right now. And that is Alex Ovechkin absolutely blasting the heck out of Robin Leonard's mask. Post game, Leonard stated about how it was kind of scary. The fact that, I mean, it's Alex Ovechkin. Um, he took the slap shot right to the face and he said he felt it in his cheekbone and he felt the mask indent. Leonard had to switch out. Uh, his masks and go back to the mask that he wore uh, last season. I have a whole article up on that. Go check it out um, on the website for Vegas Hockey Now. Absolutely crazy. And, of course, you know, it, it's crazy, but also it's Alex Ovechkin, and you can kind of expect it. 101, I had to research this for the, the article as well I wanted to do. It was 101.3 miles per hour um, was the hardest recorded slap shot that Ovechkin has had at the 2018 NHL All-Star Game. I guarantee he's hit something harder than that in a game that just hasn't been tracked. Maybe even this one uh, was harder than that. But thankfully, Leonard, um, you know, was wearing a mask. Um, second one, also pretty obvious here, and that is the fourth line that was formed last game of Brett Howden, Nolan Patrick, and Michael Amadio. Again, like the three guys that could have arguably been your fourth line center at any given moment, moment in the season, you can throw Jake Lecision in there, but for the most part, it's been in Brooks, Adam Brooks, but the, for, for the most part, it's been these three. And you put them all on a line together, and they've had a great game, two games so far. They score in this one as well. Michael Amadio gets the goal. It was a really nice play from Nicholas Haig. Howden was up on the point. He fired the shot, and Amadio got the rebound. Overall, a well-deserved goal from, you know, the fourth line here. And just looking at, at the Golden Knights kind of framework, for instance, Riley Smith goes down with COVID today. They throw Jonas Ronberg in the lineup, but they don't put him on the fourth line. They put him on the, all the way on the third line. They don't separate that line of, of Amadio, Howd, Howden, and Patrick, which, you know, kind of shows something on how there is chemistry building there, and maybe DeBoer wants to stick with it when the team gets fully healthy. He split up the Matthias Yanmark, Nicholas Waugh, uh, Keegan Colsar line with injuries, of course, before he did this line, which this line has only been together for two uh, two games now. So another solid game by the fourth line. And if, and if they can continue this, not only will Amadio or, or Howden make a case for staying in the lineup, it'll be Patrick as well. It'll be the entire line overall. A little bit of a funny one for number three. Jonas Ronberg uh, kind of got leveled by Tom Wilson. I think it was in the first period. Um, not, a, not a bad hit, not a, you know, uh, an ugly hit by any means. It was more of just a big shove and Ron Bjerg fell down. It was kind of kind of funny, not, not going to lie. But I just wanted to point it out, given the fact that, you know, players, unlike Ron Bjerg, veteran players like, you know, Petrangelo or McNabb, probably know when Tom Wilson's out on the ice, and that's something they're always keeping an eye on uh, for, you know, the youngster and Ron Bjerg. Welcome to the NHL there, buddy. On the flip side of that coin, there was a hit tonight that I didn't really necessarily like. Um, nothing I can do about it, though. But still, Garnett Hathaway, he did get a call for it uh, from a hit from behind on William Carrier, if I remember correctly. It was a bad hit. And Garnett Hathaway is starting to get a kind of a bad rep in the NHL right now. Um, just something to keep your eye out. The Golden Knights don't play the Capitals until April um, again. But still, I didn't, didn't really like that one from Hathaway. The Golden Knights didn't score on the power play that they got off of that penalty. Neither team scored on the power play tonight. 0 for 9 combined for both teams. 
Early foul of Genny Dodonov had a really solid game tonight. Again, it was only a one nothing victory for the Golden Knights, the only goal coming from the fourth line and a defenseman that just returned from the game, pinching on the play. So on the stat sheet, uh, Dodonov didn't you know have anything incredible, but still, I thought he had a really strong game tonight. His offense, his instincts were just great. And just overall, he, you know, he's, I wouldn't say turned the season around. He didn't have a bad start to the season. He just had an inconsistent start to the season. He has been really good as of lately, especially with the injuries to Stone, uh, Pacioretty, now Riley Smith. There's three of your uh, top six wingers out of the lineup. Dodonov, arguably maybe a third line winger when the team's fully healthy. He's a first line right winger right now, and he's, he's impressing. Number six, very obvious one, Robin Leonard. I already talked about him and his mask incident, but overall 34 saves. Um, you know, that's the biggest shot total in the world, but Capitals are a very good team. Golden Knights played very solid defensively, but also they took a, took a fair amount of penalties tonight, especially the five on three. Robin Leonard had his best saves of the night in, that sequ in those sequences. Even on the first play of the game, uh, Nick Dowd had a nice chance because Petrangelo just blew a tire. Overall, a calm and collected game from Leonard. That's what the Golden Knights need out of him, and that kind of uh, leads into my next point. This could have been a key to the game, uh, like I said, as a game preview, but I'll throw it in here now as a takeaway. I think the Golden Knights are about to have a very solid goaltending performances over the next, you know, over this road trip. Back to back here, they have the Hurricanes tomorrow night. Leonard, we saw him be incredible here tonight. And most importantly, or not most importantly, but also relative, also relevant is Laura Versois came back in tonight's game. Technically, he backed up for the first time in I don't know how long. His last game was against the Winnipeg Jets. Um, where Kyle Connor scored the overtime goal. So he's been out for a while, and this is the first time in a while where both the Golden Knights goaltenders and Bersois and Leonard have been healthy. And Leonard with the you know with the game tonight and the shutout tonight needs to be consistent. Heading forward, if this can continue, the Golden Knights will be even more of a dangerous team if they can get their goaltenders to get back healthy, which they have now got, and both of them to get, you know, some good games in. They already have Leonard, Brassois, maybe tomorrow night. And last up, most importantly, dog, please. Uh, tonight was canine night at uh, Capital One Arena. Sammy Sibler was covering it very well. She had dogs in the press box, which I'm jealous of for Washington hockey now. The Golden Knights need a team doc. I'm going to write a full separate, you know, article on this on why Bark Andre Fleury should definitely be that. Uh, dog, or you know, maybe my own dog, my Havanese dog, Hannah, could be could be the team dog. But it just make I don't know anything about you know like the business and PR side of it. But it makes me happy when I see dogs in the press box, and there's literally cardboard cutouts of dogs when they come out on the ice. I'm a dog lover. Capitals have a great dog in there with uh, well, what's his name, Biscuit, and. Every team. The Kraken just got one the other day. His name's Davy Bones, or Davy, I think it's Davy Jones, but Davy Bones is so much better. Get a team dog. Every team in the NHL needs a team dog. The Penguins need a team dog as well. And the Golden Knights just, I mean, I'm just picturing going to the press box and like having a buddy there like that can sit on my lap and I can pet him while I tweet the game or whatever. That'll do it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Again, as I mentioned, at least for this uh, three game now remaining road trip, I'll be doing a video like this after every single Golden Knights game. So be sure to subscribe to National Hockey Now, like this video, share it, and uh, stay tuned with Vegas Hockey Now.